Paul Tain, Mr. O'Shea, and uh, I was going to ask a few questions, and there are myself and my football team. Thanks, Keith. Uh, as Keith said, I'm here with the manager of the uh, senior football team, Mr. O'Shea. He led us to was what most definitely our most uh, successful campaign in 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 uh, soccer in the school. And I'm here today to, to talk to him about our difficult journey to the final. Uh, uh, good morning, sir. Good morning, Al. How are you doing? Not too bad. Well, as being part of your squad, I know a lot of details, but this is to talk to the public in, in general. Uh, what do you know? Our first game was against Mo, and we won that game three one. It was a fairly easy game in, in, in the first half, but the second half was very uphill. The performance was good, but uh, we felt that in, in that game uh, there was many. Well, I suppose it was largely the first stage, the first launch we had. I'd just like to say, first of all, I, was, I had the, the looks and managed a good group of lads, and it was largely I just facilitated everything. There was the lads themselves who did everything right throughout the season. You know what I mean? Largely I was just there as a sort of overseeing role, but the sort of endeavour and the sheer will and determination has to come from inside the lads themselves, and this particular group of lads did that and rose to the occasion every time and showed a remarkable spirit throughout the season. Most, I suppose, traditionally would be a Gaelic football stronghold. They were actually coached by the Desi Dolan, the famous Westmead footballer. But um, they were a good side, they weren't a bad side. I always, I always say Temple Oak College has some great, great, great soccer players. And I think we need to harness that. And there's a great football tradition in here if we harness it. And I believe Temple Oak College as a school can be really successful in soccer and Gaelic games in the future. There's no doubt about it that Moore was a very good first draw because it had been on our feet. Now, the second round right away. That was one of the most difficult games of the whole time. Yeah, like, I think if you look back at the, the definitive stage of the season, you look at that day in Oliver's draw that we almost went into a sort of stronghold of football that Oliver's is, and he literally came out with a result. Okay, it was a hard fought victory. In the end, we won 8 10 with 10 men. With 10 men. Yeah, so it was your classic sort of battle of attrition up there. They had the whole school out watching the game. We were starving in outnumbered, but literally came to the phone in the end. But uh, it was a hell of an occasion. I, I remember the emotion for myself. You might say it's an inconsequential schools game on a Friday afternoon, but in all my sort of sporting activity, it was that the final moment where you said, Jesus, this is great. This is part of it. And in terms of bonding the lads, in terms of building a structure, you couldn't replace it. And we were just lucky enough to come through in the end, but you make your own look. You come from inside, deep within. That was our only away game in, 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 in the tournament. Uh, like, you're doing games with Benildis and Athlone, and then the semi-final and final were at a neutral venue. The um, uh, match against Benildis was one very, very scrappy game. It was 50-50 the whole time, but yet we came out with a result. Yeah, Benildis were a very, very strong team. Very, very fancy to throw the tournament. Um, one mistake by their defender, and I don't actually remember the specifics of the game. I suppose when you're embroiled in it, when you're on your knees before the event, you, you don't notice things so much. Um, one, I remember them, their defender made a mistake with about six or seven minutes to go. I felt very sorry for him because he had been immense throughout the game. The keeper eventually, in the end, who got logged, he was very emotional at the end of the game, but that is football. Yeah, most definitely. That's sport and that's the joy of the vicissitudes that we go from the agony to the ecstasy. We, we went into our quarterfinals against Athlone, again home, and they were hot fits. Yeah, they would have been hot favourites for the whole tournament. Really, really, really fancy. Uh, funnily enough, managed by another former uh, Gaelic footballer, inter-county Gaelic footballer, Johnny Gall guy. Um, yeah, at home, I was traditionally great um, sort of issues, and basketball actually won the lesser senior Gaelic football title. Um, the number of Irish internationals, hardly fancy. Um, living in the state, I think they actually expect the level of intensity from the almost felt that they had done, and just basically get the result, and it's going to be an easy affair. But in terms of the raw, sheer will, that was similar, I started to bring it up. I had the training support, there was image training uh, that happened uh, during the Christmas weeks off, but I mean, as a whole, we put in a great performance as a team rather than a team of individuals. Awesome, yeah, so you have know, so two guys, and then say the other guys who were involved, 23, 24 guys, who were just immense in every regard. I think you went into an intro, you could maybe treat that, that exercise in their own way, in terms of the togetherness and spirit, which is the core fundamental of any, any success these lads had. We made our semi final game, very perfect again. It was against the NHL College. I thought it was more or less on than in the other It was probably the best performance that we put up all season. Yeah, the semi final was a great victory against Shell. We're dealing with four Irish schools and internationals. Again, a great soccer tradition. Um, elements, God, if we remember the elements of the day, they were terrible. There was a blizzard in the second half. We fought the first half, I remember the, the actual game. We fought against a torrential sort of gale. It was literally, it was, yeah, it was all hands on deck. And it was literally no pass around, they did not pass, and it was, it was great. We were the final performance, heading for the final. We were, it was again a 50-50 competition between the uh, Swedish and Hodge. We went into the game headstrong, 
in the first five minutes, you can go well first. No, most definitely. I'd say I'd have to have a criticism of myself there in terms of the pre-match preparation. I suppose it's all a learning curve. Maybe I had guys too psyched up for it, too emotional in terms of the actual occasion. Carries enough emotion and the, uh, the occasion is big enough that fellas just actually need to be calmed and so on. I suppose in hindsight, if you look back on the same approach from a coaching perspective that might work earlier in the competition or even for the semi-final, a final is a different animal. So I literally have to take criticise myself in terms of pre-match preparation, um, pre-match speeches, pre-match approach. In the first half of the final, we were one up. We had Dr. Goh half either, with one corner, headed uh, by Judy, head on ground, and in the second half, then it was all the play for. Yeah, it was all the play for, and again, I suppose we went out in the first five minutes of the second half, and I think there was a mistake again. It just, it just started to put us on the back foot, and we had literally had that mountain to climb nearly all over again. We tumbled down the hillside. And then, back around, that would be nervous. Yeah, nerves were there, undoubtedly, yeah, undoubtedly. And, I suppose sport is psychology is a huge part of it and again as I said the final is a distinct animal, a distinct creature and I think it may be cliche to say you have to lose one before you actually finally win one. You will learn more from losing than people lose it. Oh most definitely, yeah, most specifically a final. Well the final score on the day was 3-2 to the, to the SVG average. Yeah, 3-2 and yet I suppose it isn't the feed that lingers in the mind, it's literally the, the raw, sheer crawl back up that hillside. That sort of, their striker, their number 10, just probably had the game of his life. I think Paul Ryan was named, he scored the hat trick and finished brilliantly. I think he'd never have his goal again again. All credit. A remarkable feat, a remarkable performance by the young fella, and especially in a big game, which makes it all the more uh, remarkable. I would say, though, it was literally, it was, I took great solace, I have to say, but I'd love to be involved in a group of fellas who, at the end of the day, who, when it went straight one, it looked like they were dead and buried. Even though we had created, ironically enough, we had created more chances. I felt Dan, Silvish and Selvage, but it was literally like, we were a carcass, we were almost down, we were beaten. And it was like that last shudder in defiance from that carcass that we weren't going to go down. We had one hell of a last, one hell of a last push to try and reach that summit. Didn't get there, but ultimately I think anybody who was involved or there will. I think these things have a, a defining effect on our characters, on our spirit, and who we are as people. And that in the long term, we will rise, that we learn from these things, and we go 